the plantar plate internal brace ligament augmentation procedure for plantar plate pathology. A dorsal incision is made directly over the MTP joint. Excise the collateral ligaments at the base of the proximal phalanx. Use the maglamry elevator to release the plantar plate and capsule proximally. The surgeon may choose to complete the tear of the plantar plate by excising any attachments at the base of the proximal phalanx. Next, an osteotomy is done of the metatarsal to shorten it while also allowing for better access to the plantar plate. Shift the metatarsal proximally and fixate utilizing a K-wire. Using a small rongeur, remove the dorsal overhang of the metatarsal. The first K-wire is inserted into the proximal phalanx. Next, insert the second K-wire into the metatarsal at least 5 mm proximal to the K-wire, holding the metatarsal osteotomy. The 2.5 mm cannulated drill is used to drill a bicortical bone tunnel in the proximal phalanx. Feed the straight micro suture lasso through the metatarsal tunnel and puncture through the plantar plate. Shuttle the suture passing wire through the lasso and retrieve the wire at the joint through the dorsal incision. A doubled over labral tape suture is fed into the suture passing wire and shuttled through the plantar plate and metatarsal tunnel. When the plantar plate has been mobilized, load the mini scorpion DX suture passer with a doubled over suture tape. Grasp the plantar plate medially or laterally. Squeeze with the palm of your hand, advancing the needle and suture through the tissue. Take the suture tape tails from the plantar side, pass them up through the suture tape loop, creating a luggage tag stitch. Pull the two suture tape tails to tighten down the luggage tag stitch to the plantar plate. Then, pass the second suture tape opposite the first stitch in the plantar plate, leaving 3 to 5 millimeters between. Next, the 2.5 millimeter cannulated drill is used to create a bicortical bone tunnel over the K-wire in the proximal phalanx. Use the straight microsuture lasso to feed the lasso wire through the bone tunnel. Feed the free limbs of the labral tape and suture tapes into the lasso wire and shuttle through the bone tunnel. At this point, place a quick fix clamp at the site of the metatarsal osteotomy, remove the temporary K-wire fixation, and proceed to place a quick fix screw to fixate the osteotomy. Now, implant the 3mm by 8mm peak tendinesis screw into the proximal phalanx, spreading both the labral tape and suture tape sutures and putting the screw in between. Finally, pull the labral tape sutures exiting the metatarsal to set the final tension of the construct. Ensure the appropriate amount of dorsiflexion can be achieved and insert the final 3 by 8 mm tendinesis screw into the metatarsal tunnel between the two sides of the labral tape. This completes the repair.